Hello everyone, welcome back. A couple of days ago I told you that I was going to rearrange this house and start getting things ready for the season that we have ahead and gardening and visitors and just the chaos of the summer. But I'm beginning to realize that I think that's going to happen over a couple of days. I'm going to have to do bit by bit each day because, well, quite frankly, I still don't really know what I'm going to do. I'd like to sort of over days, tidy up the place, give it a good vacuum. I always find that helps. And approach it from kind of a clean angle. Take stuff to the thrift store and look around the thrift store for anything else that could be helpful. I like to set up the space in the area to complement what is going to be ahead in this season. So we already know that we're going to have some visitors to have meals here. We've got some family that's coming to visit. So we need to create a definite place where we can sit down and eat. As well as a lot of seed starting will be happening in the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna need room to start the seeds, like actual workspace to work on, as well as places to put the plants when they're kind of medium sized, getting ready to be transplanted outside. But before I can even think of that, the real life happens and I have to make dinner. Salt and pepper on this roast. This is my quick dinner idea. Usually if I've got a roast in the freezer, I'll defrost it the night before. And now today around lunchtime, I will go ahead and pop it into the Instapot right around uh, like maybe two hours before Walter gets home and that way by the time he gets here dinner is sort of almost ready. Whoa I'm making a big mess. This will be much easier right in there. So I'm just quickly gonna pop in this roast with some carrots, uh, potatoes, maybe some tomato sauce for flavor, oh yeah onions and some very sad parsley. All right, so we've got the Instant Pot, let's chop potatoes. So what I've learned is I should wash potatoes. One second. And we're back. So as I was saying, what I have learned is to do big projects in chunks. That's just the reality. If you have a full-time job, which Wally and I both do, praise God, and so, if I want to do any kind of projects in the house, I have to work around our work schedules and at the same time try not to make such a mess that we're sitting in chaos for many days on end. Today is just to do as much tidying up so that tomorrow I can start moving stuff around. Whoa! Doesn't this just look so good? I love a color scheme of vegetables. So I'm going to put the hard cooking ones at the bottom, so my carrots first. This meal is two-thirds sponsored by the garden. Potatoes, carrots, and onions. De hello. De hello. Hey, babe, is the fill line on the Instapot for liquid or for food? Or both? Uh, liquid. Both, but I mean, definitely liquid. Okay. That's, that's if, what's gonna, yeah, but, if I have a few potatoes sticking out of the top, is it going to be fine? Uh, I think so, but remember, like, liquid will kind of ooze out of everything. It just kind of does that out of the meat and stuff. So, so you just want to keep the liquid down if you're going to be above. Okay. But like, how much above? Is it against the lid? Or? Mm, oh, no, no. Well, uh, no. I mean, the fill line is, like, I would say one or two inches. It down or something. Yeah, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hope it's going wonderful. Should be fine. I did not take out one of our tomato sauces from the freezer in time, but I bought this the other day thinking it was a pizza sauce for a last minute pizza when I didn't want to make any nice sauce. But it's probably a good time to use this up, so let's just add that in there. Get that last bit out. I'm just adding some water and giving her a good old shake. 
Voila! This is the fun of life, and it's a rush, but you know what? We get to do a lot of fun things, so it's a good trade-off for me. Now to feed my sourdough starter, about once a day or every other day, I come in here and smell it, and it's been getting kind of stinky, honestly. But that's what you want. You do. It has this perfumey aroma. So I come in here and take about most of it out and put it in this container which I can use afterwards to make all kinds of other stuff like the sourdough crackers that I'm always advocating. So I've kept about 50 milliliters of the starter in here and how I know that is that I measured this container ahead of time and I know that it's 458 milliliters roughly. So if I add 50 to that I usually get to 510-ish milliliters. So right now there's still too much in here. Oops, that's it right there. So if I'm not actively baking that wheat, I only feed it a very small amount. That's why I'm removing so much of it because I want it to stay really small. I'm not going to do any bread baking this week. I did most of it last week, so we have enough. So I'm going to add 200, I keep saying milliliters, but milliliters and grams are the same thing. So 200 grams of white flour. Good thing I just got a call from Roots, our grocery store, saying that my flour order is ready to pick up because I don't have very much left. <laughs> Alright, so 200 grams or milliliters of white flour, as well as 50 grams of brown, just like that. Now the feeding program that I'm following uses um, I think it is 70% hydration, so it's not 50-50, but 70% of the flour that I added, I'm adding water. Is it 70? 75? I don't remember now. So I'm going to add 200 grams of lukewarm water, and then I just stir it in with my hand. As you can see, it's not very much in here. I do not know why I'm using this big tub for such a small amount of starter, but I started it in here. and. I just like having all this room to mix. And then I just close the lid and let it sit on the counter for the next, ah, probably tonight until we go to bed. And then I'll pop it in the fridge until I bake again next week. Then I'll do the same feeding the first day and then the second day I'll feed it again before I actually mix the bread. That way it just gets back into a little feeding schedule before I actually end up baking the bread. So for now, I'm gonna leave that right there so I don't forget. Look at these gingers. I can show you. Look at that. These have grown. Yay! We're having success with the ginger. Now, ginger does want to be moist, so I'm just checking the soil. It's not too dry in there, so I should definitely not overwater. Just a hair sprinkle. Oh, and one of these is turmeric. All right, it's back to work for me for a little while. Catch you in a little bit. Hello again, it's the next day. Today is the day I figured I'm gonna use this lunch break to trial moving stuff around. I'm gonna take off all of my office equipment, leave everything plugged in in case I don't stick with this today, but I'm gonna trial moving stuff around. I just learn better by seeing and doing and watching and oh that doesn't work and so anyway that's just how I am, how I work, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it today. The reason I'm trying to get this done so quickly is because we're going to my parents this weekend and around them is a lovely thrift store. Well, there's three thrift stores, but one that I particularly love. And I just want to get a feel for the setup style layout that I'm going to go for in the next couple of months that's going to work for everything that we've got going on, like seedling starting and like I was telling you, dinners where we need to sit down and so on. So basically, I'm just going to trial it 
move stuff around, see where I'm going, and that way, by the time we see them this weekend, I'll know if I need some extra things to spice up the place a little bit. has furniture pads so that I can move stuff around anytime I want.
end of my lunch. This is the state of the house. <laughs> uh, I have about yeah mm, five extra minutes to quickly tidy as much as I can. Basically set up my office, which is over here. All the wires are just there. And part of me knew this would happen, and I, I just had to jump in and do it because it's a big task, and I feel like I would keep putting it off until I have time. But I'm glad it's at this state. I kind of like when I stand over there, looking out, like when you walk in from the entrance. I like the way that it looks, so that's good. There's one of Walter's toolboxes that I didn't get to fit in. I'm thinking I can move that to the bedroom. Or to a closet up there, once we tidy that up. I also noticed that all these books need to be organized and some gotten rid of that we've just never read even. I will continue a little later. Catch you then. This is the final day. If you have hung around this long, thank you very much. Uh, while our house isn't perfectly organized and decluttered like I would like it, right now it's in a good spot to, uh, to proceed with that. Everything is moved and in a new fresh way that I really love. And I can already see how this place is just gonna improve as we get rid of some old stuff now that everything is in roughly the place where we want to keep it. And we can do that intense purge of sifting through cabinets and cleaning out messy desks. This is the fun part about making home. I really enjoy it and thank you so much for hanging out with me while I move stuff around and get it done while working full time and hustling and bustling through life. Stay tuned for the big reveal, but I just wanted to wrap up this video and show you where we're at right now, and then we'll do a big reveal in a couple of videos from now. All right, thanks. And if you like content like this, please stick around and subscribe, like this video, and we can catch you in the next video.